The Portuguese presidency of the Council of the European Union advocates greater cooperation between member states in terms of responding to crime. Position defended by the Minister of Justice and Home Affairs on a meeting. Francisca van Dunen, Minister of Justice, considers that the protection of European citizens cannot be achieved through isolated actions in the 27, nor through merely sectoral approaches. For the Minister of Justice, joint work is required, which joins the dimension of police cooperation and the dimension of judicial cooperation, which is essential for a common multidisciplinary and integrated response. During the presentation in Lisbon of uh, the severe and organized crime threat assessment report in the EU by Europol, Van Dunham stated that cooperation and information sharing between the different national authorities of the Union and between them and the Europol are fundamental to combat organized crime, terrorism, money laundering and other criminal activities such as cases of sexual abuse of children online or the sales of counterfeit vaccines. For this reason, she concluded, the Portuguese presidency decided to put the issue of counterfeiting on the European Union's agenda, warning of the growing involvement of organized crime in these activities and the urgent need to fight it, as demonstrated in the pandemic situation in that we live. For this part, the Minister of Internal Administration, Eduardo Cabrita, stressed that it is necessary to join efforts to act in areas of extremely high specialization, such as the encryption or analysis of large amounts of data or metadata, which are essential in combating new criminal threats that come from the digital world today. The Minister guaranteed that Portugal will maintain its full commitment in terms of European police cooperation and in the future of affirming the values of a Europe as an area of freedom, security and justice. The presentation of the report, also called SOCTA 2021, was attended by the European Commissioner for Internal Affairs, Ilva Johansson, and Europol's Executive Director, Catherine de Bolle. The document published every four years since 2013, makes a detailed analysis of the threat of serious and organized crime that the European Union faces, providing information to professionals, decision makers and the general public. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.